morning, we are group number two and we will be presenting our own in session. We will present in the form of interview, whereby I will ask questions to explore in, in session. Now let me begin with the question and answer session. Could you give a brief introduction of our in session? Inflation generally means the price, increase in price of goods and services and fall of money value. Come, can you please get, categorize inflation? Uh, there are many types of inflation, but specifically they have distinguished two broad types of inflation. There are the monetary inflation and the cost of inflation. Could you please uh, explain it further? There are various uh, ways to measure inflation, but, but the most common way to measure inflation is the consumer price index. Uh, consumer price index is the measure of the basket of house of goods and services that consumers purchase in a household. So for example, in 2020, the average inflation rate in Bhutan, in terms of CPI, is amounted to be about 4.15% compared to the GDP. Could you explain more on components of GDP? Okay, there are four components of GDP in terms of expenditure methods. The first one, consumer spending. As inflation increases, the purchasing power of money decreases. Therefore, consumers' spending will also decrease uh, investment. As inflation increases, as I said earlier, the price of resources will also increase. Therefore, business will be less prone for investment in the future. Uh, Third of all, government expenditure. As inflation increases, public expenditure such as infrastructure, the cost of um, public expenditure will also increase. Therefore, inflation causes all these components to decrease. Lastly, net export. Uh, if inflation is in high in one country, imported inflation will cause, uh, will cause more, the price to rise more. Therefore, the components of G all the components of GDP are affected by inflation. And lastly, um, inflation also causes high unemployment rate in the country because as prices of goods and services rise, business will be less prone to uh, employ more laborers because it will be more costly to uh, employ more laborers. Therefore, unemployment will also increase. La uh, so overall, inflation high rate of inflation will uh, slow down the rate of economic growth. Lastly, what are some policies to tackle inflation? The two most common policies that governments of most countries use is fiscal policy and monetary policy, which will be explained further by our last interview, which is not here right now. Our last interview will be conducted through video calls, since he would not be here to talk about this. Yeah, my topic is on how to solve the problem of rising price of goods and services. So to solve this problem, there are four ways. And the first way to solve this problem is each can be solved by rise in the standard of goods and services. And second way is that by uh, uh, lowering the money supply to control uh, aggregate demand. And the third way to solve this problem is that government can use wage and price to control it, but the main thing is that it leads to job losses. And the final and the last way to solve this problem is that government can use uh, uh, monetary policy to control price and price of food and services by controlling uh, the money supply which lower which, uh, the price. So, uh, 
That's all from my side. Thank you for being here. I hope you have learned more about integration through this interview.